morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys? Man, I ain't coming out here. Come on. It's Monday, August 7th. It's payday. It's payday. <laughs> Anyway, I got my money yesterday on Saturday, I think. They paid us early, which was all right with me. Anywho, how are you guys? How is everybody doing on this Monday morning? It is 70 degrees in Chicago. It is no sun. We had the most dreariest, gloomiest weekend. I mean... It was unbelievable. <clears throat> so we we rained all day Saturday. Um, it didn't let up until about five o'clock, and then it was back raining into the night, heavy rain. And then Sunday, same thing, but it stopped. It wasn't a washout like Saturday. Saturday, I mean, I got nothing done because it was just. And I'm going to tell y'all, I don't like going to the grocery store in the rain. I just don't. I do not like going to the grocery store in the, in the rain. So, by now, you have seen the Shein Lingerie Haul Part 1. I did Part 2 last night. It should be uploaded. Um, I'm going to release it probably Wednesday, I think. I, I don't know. I'm still working on it because it's some... It's some, I think, I felt like both of those videos, I was off. You know, I wasn't on my square, you know. The cats was in the way. They was getting on my nerve. I tried to lock them up, but they were crying, and I didn't want that in the background. But they were chewing on my uh, ring light cord. That was pissing me off. I'm like, what are y'all doing? You know, cats love anything with strings, you know. So, anywho... Um, like I said, that kind of, that was getting on my nerve. Um, let's see. I want to talk about two things. The first thing, let me say this, talk to you all about this. I know some of you all was asking me, um, about, um, thought that I, I, well, okay. So let me back up. So I told you all I had a date, right? So we were supposed to go on the date Saturday. <laughs> so y'all ain't going to believe this. did I fall asleep he fell asleep too so we did not hook up Saturday like we were supposed to so what happened was I had texted him Saturday morning or he had texted me and I was like you know what you got what you got going on he was like what you got going on and um so I was like I'm gonna take my mom to the grocery store so he said, okay. I said, but after that, you know, I'm pretty much free. I said, uh, I'm free, you know, all evening, you know. And then uh, Chris went over to his uh, former principal's house, who he has a son, Chris age. He's a little bit older. He might be a little bit older. But he went over there to uh, spend the night with them. And they play video games and stuff like that. So... He, um, he, so I was really kid free, which that wasn't a problem. I mean, Chris is 15. He don't need no babysitter, but you know what I'm saying? Most of the time I'm home with him in, uh, in the, on, on the weekend at night. Cause I ain't in a relationship and I don't date. So, you know, therefore that's how that go. So anywho, he said, okay. He said, well, I got a, uh, my daughter, um, uh, daughter's home from college. And he said, she wants me she got a job. She got paid yesterday. She wanted me to take her shopping. He said, so I'm getting ready to take her to the mall. He said, but after that, I'm free too. I said, okay. Well, I said, well, call me. You know, when you get back, when you know that you settled in or whatever, and you know, then we'll we'll work it out. The problem was, is that we never set a time. Like, we never said, let's meet at 6, 7, 8. You know, we never, we, we didn't set a time, which was both of our fault. So, um, 
he did he, he i took my i didn't get to take my mother to the grocery store because like i said it was pouring down raining she didn't want to go i didn't want to go so i took chris over to his to the principal's house his former principal's house and i came on back home back to my mama's house and i said well i'll wait here instead of going back to my house i'll sit you know sit here with you know her i fell asleep so it was like six o'clock so i hadn't heard from so now it was seven so when i woke up it was like 8 30. so my mother was like looking at me she was like are you going home are you staying here because you've been asleep i said no same thing friday night i came in and fell asleep i don't know why i was so tired because one like i had a hard day at work so anywho um i uh so it was you know it was getting late you know it was like 8 30 and i hadn't heard from him so i sent him a text and i said hey i said um i don't know if you still want to uh, hook up or get together or what your plans are or whatever I said I know it's like not that 8 30 8 30 ain't late but let me just say this 8 30 is late when you are age okay not to say we old not to say we old but I'm gonna tell y'all I don't do I don't hang out like that anymore I don't be out to one two o'clock in the morning I just don't Okay, um, it's very, 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 very rare that you will have see tell me have me telling y'all I came in at two o'clock, two thirty. I used to come in at four, four a.m. I used to be coming up, coming in when the sun was coming up. I don't do that no more. Well, number one, it's too much crime in Chicago. That's number one. Number two. It ain't that many places really to go to with it with it, it it's not some kind of drama you know going on i would prefer to be in the house at night okay I, that's just me um i like to hang out i like to kick it or whatever but i just don't have the desire to do that like that now if we stayed out and we were sitting up talking or whatever to midnight that's fine but I just don't do it anymore. I just don't. And since the, I used to go out a lot, but since the pandemic, when they closed all the clubs that I love going to and everything, I don't do it. Because I had this one spot here in Chicago called the Family Den. That's my spot. But I have not been to the Family Den since they closed it down during the pandemic. COVID just really, you know, it just, I don't know, it just, um, it, it did a lot a lot of stuff to a lot of our, our social lives we couldn't do anything you know so anyway <clears throat> so i text him and he said i thought you forgot about me and i was like no negro i'm like i ain't forget about you i'm like i thought that you was gonna call me you know when you um got done with your daughter so he said i fell asleep he said i came in I dropped her off, he said, and I fell asleep. And I said, well, I did too. And I said, I fell asleep waiting on you. So on my way home, it was like about, it was, I don't know, it was like 8.30 or whatever. He called me. And we talked on the phone and we was laughing about our old ass is taking naps and shit, you know, playing or whatever. So he said, well, what you doing tomorrow? So I was like, um, so I was like, I gotta film a video. Um, and I said, I got to go pick Chris up. I said, that's really it. And I said, and finish my laundry or whatever. He was like, okay. He said, well, after you pick Chris up, he said, let's, he said, we need to set a time. I said, you right. So we did set a time. We set the time for six o'clock. And so we met at this. I told him to pick a spot that he wanted to go to. I said, you decide. So he picked this, uh, this restaurant. It was like a restaurant, sports bra type of sports not sports bra sports bar <laughs> not bra bar a sports bar and restaurant so he was like well how far um are, are you willing to drive i said i have a problem driving i said as long as it ain't on the west side or you know real west he said no he was like it's uh right off of 79th street for those of you who live in chicago you know what i'm talking about so he said but it's like in um 
Street in uh, Bedford Park. So I said, oh, okay. So Bedford Park, I live, I live way east, and this is west. So it's kind of west, west, but it wasn't far. I've been over that way a million times. So I said, okay. I said, I'm, I can meet you there. I, so when I text him um, Saturday morning, I sent him a text. I said, good morning. I said, listen, let's let's do six. I said, let's, this is the time of six o'clock. I said, let's give me time to get Chris, get him back to my mama's house, and then drive to wherever you want to meet. So he said, okay, that's fine. He was like, um, so he, he picked that place. So we met at six o'clock. So this time we had a time. So I had texted him and I had called him because I was like looking on the di directions of where it was and it said Burbank. And I'm like, wait a minute, because I know Burbank is in the opposite direction of where, where I was going. And I was like, uh, let me let me text him to make sure that I'm going in the right place. But once I put the address in my phone um, and Google Maps, it was taking me where I know which way Bedford Park is. So, <clears throat> I text him, he now. I called him twice to make sure I was going to be going to the right one. He ain't asked. So, I left him a message. I said, let me tell you one thing. I said, if your ass stand me up, I am going to come and find you. Because I know where, I don't know exactly where he lived, but I know he lived, what, what area he lived. I'm going to walk all up and down that street. Ask the people, do they know your damn, do they know you? I'm going to be calling out your name. I said, I'm going to fuck you up if you stand me up. Because I had told him, I already told him that. I said, don't stand me up. I said, I ain't going to stand you up. So he didn't stand me up. So by the time I got there and pulled in to the parking lot, he had already pulled, he had already pulled in before me. But I didn't know what kind of car he was in. So I was like, I, I sent him, I called him. I said, are you here? He answered the phone this time. I said, I ain't called your ass twice. I said, I ain't left you a text message. I said, you didn't answer me. He said, I ain't get no phone call from you. I said, I text you and called you. I think he had his phone on silent. He didn't know it or something. So he was like, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, where? He was like, um, over here in this uh, green or white Cadillac or whatever. He's like, what kind of car you in? He's like, nigga, what kind of car you in? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, I'm in a Toyota, red Toyota Rav4. And then he saw me and he was like, oh, I see you. He was like, he was, he was like, I was like parked this way. He was parked over this way with kind of back. And he said, here I come. So he got out. He came over. Real gentleman opened up my door and everything. We hugged and stuff. And um. So why are you so when we got into the restaurant? He's like, where you want to sit? I was like, um, it don't matter. We can sit at the bar. We can sit, you know, at the um, <clears throat> we can sit at the table or whatever. So we sat at the bar, and um, food was pretty good. Ordered the food and everything, and um, so he was like, why you, why do you think I was gonna stay? I said, because I've been stood up a lot. And I have. I have. Men have stood me up so much. I could write a book about what to expect while being stood up. I have been stood, and stood up a lot. I mean, don't call. Don't say I can't make it. Um, I had something to come up. Nothing. And if you stand me up, I'm done. I am done. You hear me? I'm done. Cause obviously it was a month. It was, obviously it was something that you was on that you couldn't let go. You know that you couldn't let go because you stood me up. So I was like, I hope he don't stand me up. Cause I swear if he had stood me up, that was gonna be the last time. The last. I would never go out with him again. Cause I I don't I don't play that bullshit about standing me up. And he was like, I would never do that. He was like, if I, if I had something going on, he said, I would call you ahead of time, you know, before you even drove this way. He was like, no, I would never do that to you. He was like, why man do that stupid shit? He was like, all you gotta do is say you got something. I said, I know. I said, but I, I, I have had 
in to stand me. I have even re as of recently, and this wasn't really a stand up. I bought tickets to a play, and I got asked this about going, and then he changed his mind, and you know that pissed me off. And then something else happened or whatever. I ended up taking my sister. I paid for the tickets, and it was a hundred dollars. And as a man, he didn't even give me my $100 back and say, here, here you go. I know I'm not going with you, but I'll pay for the tickets. Anywho, that's a whole nother story. That's that's the last, yeah. That's a whole nother story. <clears throat> so, um... So yeah, so we was talking about that. We talked about a variety of things. Um, let me say this. I, I mean, even though it was a date, like we, you know, we called it, you know, we we don't we didn't call it really like a date. We called it more like hooking up, like two friends getting together. Because I've known him for thirty some years. I mean, I told you I used to bother him in high school, so I've known him so long. I mean, so, since we were fourteen years old. And we 53. Um, and, you know, I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm attracted to him. You know, I like him. I'm attracted to him. Highly attracted to him. But I don't look at him as somebody, not to say he can't, because, you know, strange things have happened. I'm not saying that I don't look at him as somebody that I couldn't have a relationship with. I could have a relationship with him. But... I'm more um, focused on us having um, a friendship and rebuilding our friendship because we hadn't talked like in almost 11 years. We haven't talked, you know, um, because we had this misunderstanding. And so I'm, gl I'm glad and grateful for the friendship being rekindled more than anything whether you know not looking for so much of a uh, connection you know what I'm saying a love connection although he is fine and I'm gonna love him Ooh, he's fine but <laughs> that's more important to me than anything so I don't anticipate or I'm not looking for him you know for it to be like that you know for a, you know for a relationship type of thing we talked about that too we talked about relationships we talked about marriage and you know he was asking me had i ever been married i was like no he had been married before and he has children um three children and so we talked about kids and this and that and we was talking about you know chris and you know going through his little teenage years and he was saying you know you know me being a man he was like i understand you know because i was that kid that boy too you know we so we talked about that kind of stuff and so then he asked me, dude, did I think that I would ever get married? And I said, no. And he kind of like looked at me. He was like, why you say that? And I said, because I don't. I said, I don't think it'll happen. You know, it's going to happen. And I said, and I'm okay with it, with it if it don't happen. I said, I always desire to be married. I said, but I said, the older I get, the more I realize that, you know, maybe that's not for me. I always seem to get men who don't want to commit always I always get men who are flaky who are indecisive who want to play games who can't make a decision they don't want to commit they want to fuck but they don't want to make a commitment um like the last one you know and i thought because he was older he was more knew what he wanted nah no matter how old they are they all do the same thing so I told him, I said, I don't think so. And I said, and I'm okay with that. I said, I like my life because my life is peaceful. I said, I don't have no drama. I said, I don't have no static. I don't have to be bothered with nobody if I don't want to be bothered with nobody. I said, I just, do I desire companionship? Of course I do because I'm a, I'm, I'm a loving person. I, you know, I love men. I said, but they don't love me. You know, I said, and you know, I said, so I'm okay with it. You know, if it don't happen, I said, I'm really, really okay with it. So, he came flying out of there. So, anyway, we talked about that. And, um, 
you know, just had, like I said, just had a good conversation. Okay, where you going? Why are you looking all mean? I'll be back, y'all. Don't work too hard, girl. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a minute. So we were talking about marriage and stuff like that. So it was a good conversation. We laughed. You know, we reminisced about high school. <laughs> you know, I told him, I said, I don't know why you let me and my girlfriend stalk you like that. He was just cracking up. I said, I know you liked it. You enjoyed it. But we had a good, we, it was a good time. You know, it was a good time. I haven't been out on a date in maybe over a year or so, you know. So, it was a good time. It was a good, 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 good time. But we had fun. We had fun. I enjoyed him. And uh, I think he enjoyed me too. And we definitely said we would get together again and we would hook up, you know, do some stuff, you know. And, um, you know, that's what it's about. And, you know, who knows what will happen. I honestly don't think anything will happen from it. Um, because, you know, I've gotten to the point in my life that I just don't, you know, I miss all that that goes with relationship, you know, companionship, you know, sex, you know, being in love. But... I also know that int being intimate with somebody, having sex with them, it ruins a lot of stuff. And I don't want to ruin what we have. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to do that. So, I'm not trying to go that route with him. I just want to, you know, really just be his friend and, you know, keep it, you know, keep it where it's at, you know. So, um... So it was good. It was it was fun. We had a good time, and uh, uh, like I said, I, I just I really enjoyed him. And you know, I told him I said next time we go out, I said it's on me. I'm gonna treat you, cause he paid for the date, and he was like it's all good. You know, he was like it's all good. He was like I ain't got no problem paying, which that's 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 good. He do have a good job, and he ain't cheap. So, um, so that. So, the next thing I want to talk to you all about, um, I said it, I just did a second video, and in the, video, in the intro of my video, you'll hear me talking about this. So, you know, a lot of you all have complimented me on my hair. Now, y'all know that this hair up here is not real, okay, right? Y'all know that this is a piece, so it's, it's weave, right? For some reason, for some ungodly reason, I have gotten so much negativity about this hair. 
I do not get it. And, 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 and I'm going to say this. Most of the negativity that I have received about this hair has been from men. Now, there has been some men on here that said, oh, I really like your hair, I really like your hair. Yeah, I, you know, like I just read a comment from somebody before coming to work, some, this guy, I think it was a guy said, oh, that blonde is, 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 is popping, or this blonde is nice or whatever. Um, but I've gotten a lot of negative comments about my hair. Um, I don't, kind of understand why it, it really really if you don't like my hair or if you don't like my makeup or my eyelashes or my lipstick or whatever why do you feel the need to, to go into all of that and to tell me what you don't like and so I said in the video and I'm saying it here I am nobody's woman let me say it again I am nobody's woman I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a husband. I don't have to answer to nobody or or please nobody or somebody say I don't like that or blah 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 blah. Even if I was married and my husband was in my face saying I don't like he went on and on and on too much, he would get cussed out. Cause you don't need to go on and on and on about something. Okay, you don't like it, you don't like it. Okay, fine. I understand that. Being an influencer, you know, you share. You share, oh, if you change, if you did something different, if you change something, you know, you be like, oh, you know, I changed, you know, this, this, that, and the other. Everybody ain't gonna like everything that I do on this channel, men or women. And that's okay. That's okay. Because you don't have to. But what irritates me is when men say certain things about it or the way in which they say whatever it is that they say as if that's going to make me do something differently and what is what is really um interesting to me is how men don't even know you you ain't they woman you ain't they wife blah 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 but it's like like men want to own women that ain't even they woman and when I say own, not own like, you know, you bought her or whatever. But I mean, we have no connection except for this platform. That's it. I don't even know. I don't know what most of you all even look like. I have no clue what you all look like. Because if I go to your go to you, your YouTube channel, most of y'all don't have nothing on YouTube. You all are YouTube. You all watch YouTube. And you signed up to watch YouTube or however way you do it, but you don't have a platform. You don't have no content. So I don't know what you look like. I don't know nothing about you. I don't know nothing. Of course you know what I look like. Of course you know what I who I am and what I and what I represent and what I'm talking about. Because I'm on here as an influencer. But what irritates me. It's when men, and this is not just men on YouTube, I find this to be with men, period, that I have never had a relationship with, that I have no intentions of having a relationship with, that do nothing for me, that we have nothing. It's like, why do you feel like you need to own or you need to say something to a woman that ain't your woman? That's not your business. That's not your business. And a lot of these men think, because they know me or because we got some type of whatever, like they, they feel like they can tell me what to do and you need to listen. I'm getting up out this bed every morning at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, getting myself ready, getting myself dressed, heading out the door to come to a job so I can take care of me. Ain't nobody giving Sherelle, y'all know my name is Sherelle. Ain't nobody giving Sherelle, CC, whatever. Ain't nobody giving me a goddamn thing. Okay. I didn't come and I didn't come to y'all when I needed three hundred dollars to get Christopher into school. It was two hundred dollars? I gotta pay another hundred dollars for some. I I I work for my money. I'm on YouTube. That's how I make money. I'm on OnlyFans. That's how I make money. And more importantly, I got a job. Okay, I got a job. I have a job. One that pays me pretty well. 
okay so i have a job and so what money i make from youtube or only fans that's just extra but believe me i cannot live off of youtube and only fans money okay i cannot live off of that i cannot pay my rent and all my other bills my the light the gas the whatever off of youtube and only fans it's not enough money okay so I said all of that to say that what I do over here is what I enjoy. What I do over here is like a hobby and it's a hobby and it's a hobby that I'm now monetized to make money from. That's it. That's it. And when I say I'm an influencer, I'm not, I don't even consider myself an influencer like other influencers on here. But if I'm on here showing you all something and you all like it and you decide to purchase it and I've convinced you why you should purchase it, then I've influenced you to purchase it. And so that's being an influencer, okay? But that's it. That's it. And now for those of you all that have sent me really nice emails telling me how much you love the different look, how much you like it or whatever, I appreciate that. I really do. I'm not even saying you have to give me a compliment. And, and if you didn't give me a compliment, okay, it's okay. I don't, I'm not looking for that. But for you to be negative or have something mean to say to me about my hair and you are, it ain't even the women, it's the men. You need to stop. Stop it. Okay. Um, because what I do, I've been, I've been doing, I've been getting my hair done for years um, I always keep my hair together, okay? Um, I've been dressing myself for years. I've been putting on makeup for years. It's not going to always look the way you want it to look, okay? And I don't expect anybody to like anything that I do, everything that I do, because that's just impossible. It's going to be some stuff that you're not going to like, okay? But... If you don't like it and you feel that you need to be nasty, negative, mean, keep it to your damn self. Because I don't need to know that. I don't need to know that you don't like my hair or that you wish that I would go back to the old look. Where in the fuck are y'all to give me the money to go get my hair done? So fellas, I'm going to tell y'all now. I have a cash app. If you want me uh, if you're concerned about my look and what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, you can always cash at me. You all never see my cash app up on this uh, this channel. You never see it in my description. I never put my Zelle information. None of that. Because I'm not on here for that. I'm not on here. But if you keep talking about my hair, my hair to get my hair done costs $100 every time I go. A hundred dollars. So if you got a hundred dollars that you want to give to me to get my hair done, you can cash at me. I'll wait. I'll put the cash app up here. You can cash at me. Now I want to see how many of you going to cash at me since you're so concerned about what my hair look like. Again, I'll wait. I doubt it if you'll send me $100. And I ain't never asked you for $100. So, I just wanted to put that in there. Um, I, I just, I, like I said, I just don't understand the whole, you know, want to want to be in control of somebody that you ain't even in the you don't even know like that you ain't even in a relationship with them like that so i i, I know that a lot of people are not gonna like every like i said everybody ain't gonna like everything that i do or, or every look that i put together or how i do this or how i do that but i don't ask for nobody's permission to do me i do what i want to do I do what I want to do. And if you looking at me and you and you looking at my platform and you going, Ugh, I just can't watch her because I just hate seeing her with that ponytail on. Oh, I just can't watch her because she wet makeup. Or oh, I just can't watch her because she put on a cellulite. I mean up cellulite. She put on those swimsuits or the lingerie and I see her cellulite. Then don't watch. Don't watch. 
If I bother your soul that deeply, don't watch. Don't watch me. But I'm not going to stop being CC. I am who I am. I am 53 years old. Say it with me. 53 years old. And I ain't going to stop doing me. I had on the shirt last week. The sun don't ask for permission to shine. And neither do I. I do me. Okay, I do me. I do what I want to do. Because I can. Because I, you know who I answer to? Me. I answer to God and I answer to him first and I answer to me. So I love doing what I do. I love being on YouTube. I love connecting with you all. I love talking to you all. I love doing what I do. And this is why I'm on here. I ain't on here for nobody to love me, like me, take care of me, do for me. I'm not on here for that. That's not why I'm, why I'm on here. I'm on here because I love fashion. I love to talk about different topics. I love to talk. I love to interact with people. That's why I'm on here. I'm not on here for, to get uh, praises and likes and recognition and, and attention or to be seen. I get attention all my life. I've been getting attention all my life. I get it. I get it every day. Every day I step out my door, I get I get the cat calls and all. I get attention. But more than that, I give myself attention because I love me. And so I do what is concerning and what is good for me. Okay? So, that's the video for today. I'll be back tomorrow. And we're going to chat some more, girl. Um, and that's it. Okay? So, we're going to chat again. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Have a good, blessed day. I can't believe we at Monday again. Come on, hurry up Friday. I'm already looking for Friday like a fat kid looking for cake. I, it's Monday, and I want it to be Friday already. So, y'all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.